Hello, hello. Um, one of my new subscribers um, asked me a question and wanted to know how I put the sounds um, into my X-Plane flight. And uh, I thought to myself, well, I might, uh, I might try to uh, do a sort of a tutorial on how I put everything together and try to edit and sync a real flight and try to manipulate those sounds and put them into the X-Plane flight. Um, I do it for a little bit of fun. Um, I do like messing about with the uh, with video editing and um, and try to duplicate the, the the real flight from from the the virtual X plane flight and um, and also it makes it, it quite interesting actually because the, the the real flight gives me a flight to fly in X plane and once I've done that flight. Um, I'll, um, I'll try to put it all together and um, and sink it into the the flight that was um, that was a real flight. Uh, this is just a short snippet uh, on what to expect, and then I'll um, I'll do some more. Then I'll break it down. And um, but um, I will mention a couple of sites as well before I go any further because I think it's uh, appropriate. Okay, um, there's two um, music sites that I use, and um, here's one of them, and I'll put the link, uh, the two links down below. Um, they're fantastic. Um, some quite unusual music there, and it covers all types of uh, of music, horror, science fiction, fantasy, and um, I find them quite useful to um, to put into my mid flights. I like to put a little bit of music into my mid flights and. You know, I think it'd be best for me to actually highlight these um, these two sites because um, the music is not only interesting. Um, there's some really good music there. Uh, so that's one of them, and um, there's another one there. It's uh, premium music, which is probably my best one out of the two that I use, and they get updated quite regularly, um, almost on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, and yeah, so I mean, they're almost theatrical, um, cinematic music. That um, some of them are real gems, actually. And um, and so I use those. And I, I, like I say, I will put those um, in the link below. Okay. Um, and the tool, uh, my editing, my editing tool um, is Video Studio Ultimate 2019. Um, I've used this tool. Going right back to oh, X3, I think it was, and, uh, and this is will be the X11. So I've used this tool and always had the update every time it comes in because the new features um, that come in that, um, that are quite interesting. Now I actually wondered to myself, how am I actually going to do this? Because I'll be actually using the tool and I need to record the tool and explain what I'm doing in the tool. <laughs> so what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to ad lib with my audio and then put the segments in to go in time with my ad lib and hopefully that will work. That's my plan. <laughs> I've never done this before, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to be talking to you, I'm going to actually be talking through the audio about how to put everything together and then I'm going to put everything together on the queue on my explaining about putting everything together. If that made any sense, <laughs> I'm sure it did somewhere along the line. I know I'm doing everything so unorthodox, but anyway, here we are. Um, so the section on the right, top right, is all my um, videos and audios. One is taken from a real flight, and one is taken from uh, X plane flight. And what you see down on the um, on the template down below is the actual video that I was doing before. That's all in. That's all in. Ready to be um, knitted up with what I'm going to do now. So um, what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the um, the X plane flight in place. Um, I think. <laughs> this is so weird. 
yeah so there's the x-plane flight and um, I put that into my overlay I can put it in the I can put it in the video section but I'll put it into the overlay because I want to overlap the uh, the real flight as well um, entwined with this as well so basically coming up the stairs um, coming into the galley it's an x-plane and there's the real flight doing exactly the same thing um, so what I want to do is just abstract the extract the, the the audio from that from that real flight and so the the audio will be used only with my um, with what I've done with uh, walking into the galley and um, finding my seat actually in, in the um, in the aircraft so I'll put that down below and that will turn that into an audio only and we turn off the uh, I turn off the audio on the X plane, and so the the only audio that I've got with the X, with the X plane video is the real audio taken from the you go, see. And that's not that's how you do it really. It's not that hard um, to um, to do that. It's just the syncing. Try to get the syncing right, and you're pretty much done. Okay, I hope that explains everything. Um, really easy, really, um, with all the features that this tool has. Um, this is just a basic um, manipulation of, um, of of sounds and audio, and um, and me trying to make it as realistic as possible. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do that flight, um, Sydney Virgin, Sydney to Cairns, and um, I'll do the uh, the pushback. Um, departure, mid-flight, and then on approach, and then arrival at Cannes, which is basically what this video is actually. So I'll try to make the uh, the video in time because the audio needs to go in 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 sync of what the um, of what's there. So really, it's the real video that will be dictating on my video, so to speak. <laughs> 